Station 5. Hardened Density of Concrete In a previous visit to the labs, you determined the density of fresh concrete. The importance of density with respect to concrete strength and durability were covered, as were the techniques used to prevent air voids and hence achieve optimum density. In this lab session, you will determine the density of concrete in its hardened state. One of the concrete cubes produced by the group during the previous week will be used for this purpose. This week, at Station 7, each group will produce a concrete beam. The hardened density of this beam must also be determined in the same manner upon your next visit to the lab. As such, this video will cover the hardened density of both the cube and the beam. As before, density will be determined by dividing the mass of the sample by the volume of the sample. The result will be expressed in terms of kilograms per meter cubed. The samples will be removed from the curing tank in the case of the cube and curing room in the case of the beam. Both will be wiped dry with a cloth prior to your arrival. To start, the dimensions of the cube should be measured and recorded using the provided vernier calipers. The calipers must be zeroed prior to use. A mean value for the breadth, width and depth of the cube should be calculated by taking three measurements for each dimension. From these values, the volume of the sample in meters cubed can be determined. The same process will be repeated next week for your concrete beam. In the case of your beam, length will be measured with the provided tip. The calipers will again be used to measure the width and depth. The mass of the cube is then measured and recorded using the scales. The recorded value should be in kilograms. The mass of the concrete beam will be determined in the same way. Please be careful when handling the beam. Its mass can be upwards of 15 kilograms. Dividing the measured mass by the calculated volume will then provide the hardened density of the sample. You may recall from the mixing video that the target density for this concrete was 2360 kg per meter cubed. Was this density achieved? If not, then why? Also, is there a more accurate method that could be used to determine density? Please include any suggestions in your report. Thank you for watching. We will see you at the next station.